Hey, so you're probably wondering who is talking to you right now and um, where my red hair and my piercings went. So I, there's been a lot of activity on my YouTube channel lately and I haven't posted since 2012 about my scarification story and the healing process and I thought today I would kind of explain like where all my piercings went, where, what hair is this, and kind of where I plan to take my body modification in the future. First of all, I used to work in a BMX kind of street style store when I had all my piercings and my hair and it was really encouraged for me to look cool and like funky and I was just going to school before that so I had red hair for probably like four years and not to say that everyone was necessarily supportive but no one ever told me not to so when I no longer had the job at the skate shop it was kind of like I had to find a job quickly and when I applied to work at a coffee shop I was told like absolutely you're hired but no piercings, no red hair, no unnatural hair. So I had to make a decision. Do I want to keep looking for a job and risk getting to a point where I don't have any money and potentially risk having to move back in with my parents? Or do I temporarily, possibly, remove my piercings and change my hair color to what it is now? So, making the adult decision, and of course blogging about it, I decided it might be pretty interesting to have like a natural color hair anyway, because it had been four years, so I stripped the color out and it is now this natural kind of red-brown, and took out my piercings, you can see the lovely holes that have been left behind but um, the job I got as a barista I know you're thinking like oh I've seen like really funky baristas and they have piercings and red hair and septum piercings and whatever but I kind of work in a high volume place with a lot of I guess regular customers who expect a certain blank face when they come to the coffee shop, nothing to bother them, no, you know, filtrum piercing to potentially ruin their day. I mean, it's not a cool corner coffee shop where they're playing the Smiths and your barista hates you. It's more like people who buy coffee and they just want their coffee, they don't want to talk to you, they want it to be a quick process. Give me the coffee. I don't want to look at you. Please don't be weird. I hate you. Goodbye. No tip. But, I mean, even at the coffee shop, I still, um, I get a lot of questions about even the piercings I don't have, or my tattoos, or abuse about my tattoos. Uh, people tell me, uh, I'm not going to get into heaven people tell me why'd you ruin your body sometimes people don't even want me to take their order and uh, even then it's like I I mean they don't know that I sacrificed looking away just to serve them and even now it's like I hate you um however since my last YouTube video I have been focusing a lot more on getting tattooed and fixing tattoos that I have just to make everything that I have very coherent. I mean, I started getting tattooed when I was 16, so not all my tattoos are perfect. I couldn't travel when I began and I couldn't afford much and I just wanted them. So, um, I mean, a, a large percent, more of my body is tattooed than the last time I posted a video and about my scarification. Um, right now I'm wearing a dress, so I can't, but, um, 
it healed almost completely. It's difficult to even see it at all. I know I receive a lot of negative comments that I try to delete most of about my scarification and how I've ruined my body, how <laughs> God does not favor what I've done, and just anything you could think of. But to be honest, my scarification healed completely. Um, it's basically invisible. I know it's there, but if I wore a bathing suit in some sort of a beach setting, I can guarantee you no one would notice um, that there's any difference there. And I thought, maybe I could get them touched up, maybe I could get them redone, more stuff, go deeper, heal in that different way, maybe be more abrasive with the healing process, but there are just other goals that I have right now for my body modification that don't really focus a lot on having my scarification redone. I would say that it's very low on my priorities to get my scarification touched up because I know it's there and sometimes during the day like I feel myself like gently touching them or scratching them just to, like feel them raised and there are times when it's muggy or raining where they are more raised and some of my tattoos experience the same thing and if you have scars at home in other places you may understand what I'm talking about but they're more personal to me um, I'm never gonna be in that beach situation I'm never going to be wearing a shirt that reveals them anyway so as long as I know that they're there I feel comfortable with them, but they're definitely not anything I could show off. They barely show up in photographs if I take a picture of myself and um, honestly all of the negative comments I've received on my scarification videos just kind of make me laugh now because I'm like, all these people are worked up about scars that aren't even noticeable anymore. Um, just as a reference, they are two years healed and invisible to the naked eye but no one is <laughs> no one sees them anyway they're in a very personal space right um, below my bust and the ones lowest closer to my belly button are almost completely gone I don't know if it has anything to do with the location but they are healed they're gone <laughs> And I wish other scars on my body would do the same. Um, I have been looking into earlobe constructive surgery. As you can see, I have a conch piercing and my earlobes, which were scalpeled at 7 eighths. And I wore, I stretched them to 1 inch, and now I wear them naked. Um, I've been wearing them without plugs for about a year, and this is what they look like. You can see they're a nice, lovely triangle shape, and most days I like the way they look, but then I'll just have a stranger approach me some days, or people will walk by me and I'll feel them tug on their own ear just in disgust, and there are days that people really do bother me about it, or there are days where I'll see cute little earrings that I wish I could wear or I wear my hair up every day at work and I don't know if people treat me differently but I have been looking into having earlobe reconstruction and as you can see my philtrum is very visible, very apparent. I had it stretched to a 4 gauge and this is the result one year later. Very still open and noticeable. Um, I do um, massage it every night and in my eyes I have seen difference but I don't know if that is any if that's really true um, however with this video I wanted to kind of explain why I would no longer have red hair and why I would take out my piercings and where I plan to go um, I think for my channel you can expect videos on my continuing transformation, um, possible earlobe reconstruction, a lot of tattoo um, 
not touch-ups and more additions. I would like to make a video on how I heal my tattoos as well and just everyday stuff. I do have a blog that I update every day and I would kind of like to change that into a video blog. So if you currently subscribe to me under the pretense that I have red hair and piercings and all this cool scarification, um, I no longer have that. Well, I no longer have the red hair, I no longer have the piercings, but now I am 24 and about to embark on a different life where I am trying to assimilate more with the public and how the public doesn't really accept me still looking more like them. So if you want to continue to view my page and stay tuned for everything, uh, I encourage it. I'm going to make a Twitter and Instagram for so we can stay in contact. Um, the Instagram is brand new, so don't expect it to have any photos yet. But um, I'm really happy with a lot of the comments I received, the ones that are not negative, and I would love to stay in contact with everybody. So feel free to add me on Instagram and Twitter. Still